Edgecoil reached out to me, asking me if I'd be interested in doing a little product eval on one of their clocks. You know, I've worked with Xcool before. I've been really impressed with their products and really impressed with the company. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to work with them again. So they sent me one of these clocks. Let's go ahead and get it opened up. Uh, a cool box that it comes in. Get it checked out here. Now you can get their products on the Cool Gadget website or on Amazon. I'll put links in the description and a code you can use to get you a little bit of a discount. Go check it out if you're interested. All right, so we got a manual. We've got the clock itself, which is really cool. You can see the board there, very retro look. Really like the look of that. Um, of course, we've got the uh, displays themselves. These will be put in the slots here. We'll do that in a little bit. And we've got the covers that go over each of the uh, displays. And there is a uh, USB cable. So you can connect it to a Windows computer and make some certain changes. Like you can set it to have an internet time source. That way you're not having to set the time manually. It'll just automatically set based on the NTP server. And then there is a little Allen key. We'll see what that's for. All right, well, let's get this set up and we'll check it out. I just really like the pictures on the website. And if it looks anything like that in person, it's going to be a great addition to the house. All right, let's get this set up. So here's the board itself. Uh, it's the base of the clock. It's a really cool design. So there is a little uh, clear plastic cover there to make sure you're not really touching any of the components themselves um, kind of protect them there are allen screws on the side i'm assuming that's what the uh, allen wrench is for if you do need to take the covers off and access that part all right so let's start with the displays we'll take one out we're going to remove the protective sleeve now the front of the display goes in facing the the buttons all right, let's get the remainder of these put in. All right, we've got all six of the displays installed. That is a really cool look. Now we'll look at the covers themselves. And you can kind of see there, it makes it pretty obvious uh, which way they're going to have to go. It's going to fit over the electronics in the back of the display. So turn each one the correct way and set them there. And that is pretty much the install right there. I mean, that is simple as can be. All right, so let me get some power hooked up here. We're gonna use the, uh, the included cable. Let's get the cable hooked up. So the purpose of this cable is twofold. The first is to connect it to a Windows computer if you need to, to make advanced settings on it. And the second is just to power the unit itself. So right now we're just gonna power it. Let me get that set up and we'll be right back. All right, we got this guy set up here. I moved it to a different area of the kitchen here just so we can get a, a plug. So I'm gonna plug this into the wall. In, into the USB-C port. All right, we can watch each of the uh, displays booting. Got a little matrix effect there. That's cool. All right, so there's the clock setting. Also, as it's changing, uh, yeah. it's just changing background colors. That is a cool effect. Now, there's the buttons here. I push the A button. We go to date. Push it again. We go back to clock. Now the B button is going to let me switch between styles. Just a short press on the B button. That's a cool look. Oh, wow. I like that.
Cool. Now, if you want to hold down the B button for a second, you can turn off the backlit lights or you can hold it down again just to turn it back on if you prefer that style. Now, on the C button, if you want to do a long press, it'll switch to 24 hour clock, which of course, at this point in time, 10 a.m. in the morning, it doesn't do anything. So the thing we got left to do, so I want to take this upstairs and I'm going to connect it to my Windows box and we'll download the software and play with some of the advanced settings. Um, but so far, I just love the look of this clock. This is really impressive. All right, I set the clock down on the floor here next to my computer because that's where my computer is, is on the floor. So I'm going to plug in the USB-C side of the cable into the clock. Then I'm going to plug the other end into the computer itself here in just a second. You can hear the computer recognize it. Uh, the device starts booting up. All right, now the device is back up and showing time. We'll go on to the computer itself. You can type in the link in the manual. I'll put a copy of that link in the description so you don't have to try to type it in. But uh, it goes to a Google Drive. Uh, you download the file. Yeah, go ahead and download it anyway. Uh, we're going to have to get the file. Once it downloads, go ahead and extract the file and run the exe file. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do when you get in this program is change it from Chinese to English. And you can hit that little icon right there to do that. So we want to click on Network Set. We're going to type in our Wi-Fi and the password. Of course, I'm blurring that out so you can't see mine. And then we're going to change the time to our appropriate time zone. And once you hit save settings, then you can hit device info and you can see that it's showing the network status is connected. And now we'll go ahead and look at some of the other styles that are available. Um, you can select these and upload them to the clock. Makes for some really, really neat, uh, neat pictures. Of course, you love the cat one. <laughs> these all look great. Once you select the four you want, you go ahead and hit upload and it will upload those to the clock. And then we can see what the clock looks like here in just a minute. So once the upload finishes, the clock's gonna go ahead and reboot. And it's back to the clock. And now we can toggle through a few of these settings just to see what they look like. The different styles that were available that we uploaded. Some really cool ones. I'm not sure I'd want to look at that as a clock, but it's really cool. I'm really impressed with the different ones you can upload. And these are just the included ones. You could make quite a few of your own if you really wanted to. All right, there you have it. I am really impressed with this X Cool. Nixie tube clock. It is really fun. It's got a great look to it. It's really customizable. And right now you can see I don't even have a clock or a date on it. Um, using the, the software that we were talking about earlier and that we showed on the Windows computer there, I uploaded my YouTube uh, icon and that's my number of subscribers. So if you want to see that number go up, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, next time you see a video, the, the number will be increasing there. But uh, anyway, it's easy enough to hop it over go back to time and uh, it just works great i've got it set up uh, connecting to my wi-fi so it hits the ntp server and always has current time i don't have to worry about trying to set it or anything it's perfect and stays right on because it's uh, over the internet time this is a really good solution i'm actually probably going to put it in my shop and like i say i love having the uh I love having my number of subscribers on there so maybe setting up on my pegboard wall behind me will be the my logo and the number of subscribers so you'll be able to keep up with it and hopefully that number will be going up uh, but anyway i appreciate you guys watching there's a link in the description to the product as well as the code you can use to get you a little bit of discount 
Um, it's available on the uh, Cool Gadget website as well as on Amazon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You'll have a great day.